Brandon Kramer said that he didn't have his best stuff, certainly compared to the first two starts, but only giving up one run and going five innings. Do you learn a little something about him there? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was, you know, early on, I felt like he didn't really have his command, especially with his off-speed stuff. I, I thought he got better as the game went on. I thought he started utilizing his fastball a little bit more, got a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but, yeah, only giving up one run, five innings, with, it's a good lineup. Um, facing all left-handed hitters except for one. I thought it was a, a really nice start. Gave us a chance to win. Rich Dubroff, you're up next. Go ahead, Rich. Brandon, what did you see from uh, Valdez in that inning? Well, I mean, unlike him, which he hasn't done, is, you know, the walking the leadoff guy with a, with a tie game. Um, but I was, you know, he's been perfect, if not almost perfect so far for us. I, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have a zero ERA at the end of the season. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, once again, once the, the leadoff walk and, and kind of the out in front double, um, soft contact, he just give, he, he, uh, gives up a lot of soft contact and, and, uh, you know, he was good after the double, but, uh, you know, he's been great for us and, and, um, he'll bounce back. John Mueller, you're up. Go ahead, John. Grant, obviously Snell is a, is a tough guy to face, but when Mountcastle comes through with that hit once he's out of the game, do you start thinking that you guys probably have a shot here? Yeah, absolutely. I, I thought we had a shot the whole time. Um, uh, the way we were pitching, the way Kramer was pit, throwing the ball and, and Paul with a really, really nice scoreless six. Um, but, yeah, I just we just didn't score off Snell. He's really good, and he was on today. And, um, you know, he throws that fastball at the top of the zone and the – and the slider that he never hangs that uh, chases right-handed hitters to their back foot. It's just, um, he's just really, really a special pitcher. And, and uh, we had a tough time, you know, putting together some hits against them. Joe Trezor, you're up next. Go ahead, Joe. Brandon, were, were you surprised that Cash pulled Snell when he did? Um, well, I saw the Castillo was up and we had all right-handers coming up. I think that was, his call, you know, Alberto took a great, that was a great play by Brandon Lowe. I don't know if he still has seen it yet um, on the, on the smash that he caught to his glove side that was behind him. Uh, so that hurt, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a great bullpen. He trusts those guys and, and uh, rightfully so. Danny Grossman, you're up next. Go ahead, Danny. The last time uh, we spoke, uh, you said you wanted Dean to see a, a, some new lineups. Now we saw a second lineup, also a really good team. Um, what do you see? What do you see looking ahead for Dean? Uh, just the, the same. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make a start. His next start's gonna be um, against Boston, and so just continuing to get uh, starts in the big leagues and and uh, you know soaking up all this experience. I think he's really competing well. He's made a bunch of really good starts, and I'm really impressed with with uh, his stuff, uh, his competitiveness, and, and really the, you know, he knows how to get outs. And, and uh, so I thought he was good, you know, once again today.